Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me in this Vlogmas Day 13. Um, we're a little behind. I was supposed to upload this last night, but I was Christmas shopping and I got distracted, so I didn't do the voiceover and all that stuff. So yeah, we went to the post office. And then I got started on the Kakashi painting. I wanted to do the just the first layer, the the base basically, like the background of what's gonna be. I used the well, I mostly used the Amsterdam acrylics that I received in a powerful packs because I really want to use up these tubes and I have to make an update video for them as well so this is gonna double as footage for the update video but um, from what I can tell about these Amsterdam paints I'm not exactly sure if I'm a fan or not I did another video um, making portraits with them and for making a portrait it it wasn't working out so well and I think the reason is because I'm pretty sure the board that I started with wasn't white or maybe it was I don't remember if it was white or not but the portrait that I started to work on maybe I can include a small little sneak peek of that video here the acrylics just it was just not opaque enough like uh, I like working with heavy body paints or if it's not heavy or if it's not super heavy then I know I have to go over it with multiple layers so I'd rather have like a base coat then and I actually started with a I think I started with a burnt sienna base coat um, and it just I don't know it wasn't working out for me I didn't like the way the colors were mixing for skin tones I didn't like how translucent they were and I was not watering it down as much and I was trying not to use medium like I really wanted to see how the paint worked on its own and I don't know I think I have some more experimenting to do with them for sure but uh, for base layers I guess they work out okay and these are the student grade ones so I wasn't expecting something that was super high professional quality or anything. I just, I think I prefer Liquitex over the Amsterdam one. It was nice to experiment with, but I don't know if I'll be making the switch over to them anytime soon. Maybe I'll try out one of their paints in like the heavy body or whatever. So here I'm just prepping my palette, mixing the paint. I rarely ever mix paint before I start, but I figured I might as well pick up good habits, especially if I'm going to start that Evolve program. Uh, I know one of the things that they do is they prepare their paints before they start doing their exercise or whatever it is. So I figured I might as well get into the practice now and yeah, just start picking up good habits and just start picking up good habits that I know that I should be doing and I know that will help me work more efficiently. It's just so much easier to put paints down and mix as you go. But in the long run, if you're not experienced or super experienced, because I love mixing paint and I love playing around with mixing paint, but I don't believe I've put enough hours into mixing paint to get colors to be able to just work straight from the palette. I feel like uh, I need to, at least for the base layer, I, I need to prepare my palette and have like a map or plan something out. And I'm gonna try to do that with these two Christmas paintings that I'm gonna do because they're supposed to be gifts. So I don't want them to look all crazy. Oh, hi, Rox. My co-star just arrived. I lost my train of thought. Why, Rox, why? One thing for sure by uh, mixing the colors before is it took a lot out of the guessing game and I constant since I concentrated on just mixing colors, I didn't have to worry about that once the paint was going onto the canvas. I could just easily lay out the one layer of color that I needed for that I needed to, to go there. So that was nice. The one thing that I didn't do though is I didn't make enough of the skin color. So I made enough luckily to fill in the background, but I didn't make enough to fill him up in the front. So you'll see at the end of the video, he's still 
white from the canvas um but i'm glad i got to do at least a big chunk of it so we'll see today is the 14th we have almost 10 days to do these two paintings I definitely think I could do it. I've, I've been kind of getting back into the routine of sleeping because it's just not good to not sleep. Anyways, I think that's more than enough time for finishing these paintings and I'm happy because I've been able to sleep and not work late into the night. But I guess um, I'm gonna have to pick it up though because I have a couple of commissions that I have to finish before the holidays and so put let's pressure on, pressure on. I completely ran out of stuff to talk about filler 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 i'm uh, reviving my wilted money tree i have it right next to my easels but we're trying to we're trying to spring her back to life and here is the final reveal of our first layer don't worry about the eyes of the background again this is just the base layer these are the colors that I want to be in the back sometimes I like my colors to to show well you'll see what I mean you'll see what I mean just just come back and you'll get it thank you so much for joining me I appreciate it so much and I will see you tomorrow bye